monochrome was a very sensual film. I loved the use of the colored lighting, of course, and the way that we had the blue in the beginning and he felt suffocated, the narrator did. Um, and then when he got to express his sexuality and had that more sensual um, video, we had the red coloring. Um, and as he sort of explored this carnal um, sexuality, we had the red. And then at the very end, um, we had natural color that slowly faded into a purple, the, um, the coming together of the blue and the red, of course. Uh, so I thought that was cool and a great use of the title, monochrome. Um, the narration was very smooth and easy to follow and it went with the the video that we were seeing. Um, it was all um, very sexy, very... it pulled you in, the images. Um, but everything was still very tasteful and artistic. Um, I liked the fact that they were... this whole film was about destroying the binary and sort of becoming one, becoming monochrome, um, merging together. So all that symbolism was really cool to see. Um, so yeah, just playing into the monochrome theme, they did a really great job of that, and I really enjoyed this film. Monochrome was very, very interesting, like a, you know, like a video, visual poem type, and yeah, it was, um, very like visually interesting and a lot of really interesting like you know wording and you know it sounded nice um you know the the camera the cinematography is really good and i think it was it was very solid yep monochrome really incredible job on taking the word monochrome which most people think of as black and white and they have a tendency to forget that monochrome also means a singular color and the filmmakers were really smart about playing on that singular color throughout this film. And I really liked it because of that. I thought that that was very, very smart. I loved the voiceover. Thought his, his voice had such a beautiful timbre and cadence to it. It just drew you in. Um, this whole film was really sensual. I mean, really, really sensual, very avant-garde, uh, very creative. I loved what they did with it. All of the cinematography was just absolutely stunning. And all of the actors, they did such a good job being together. There were moments where I think they were walking right on that, that line where it was almost uncomfortable but the majority of it was just, it was very, very beautiful. Um, and they, they stopped just shy. So kudos to you guys for that. Really good job. All right, I just finished watching um, Monochrome, which I thought was an incredibly strong stylistic and um, thematic piece based around sort of sexual expression and identity. I thought there was a, a very sinister and sort of um, dark undercurrent that really matched the, the film well. It almost almost like a, a horror film or a serial killer film, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with the idea of how uh, being sexual in this way is inherently rebellious and um, requires you to uh, take on a form that is not necessarily supported by society. And I thought that a lot of the ideas especially towards the end with um, the characters out in nature, um, the threesome, as well as sort of the, the way the bed scenes were structured really um, reflected sort of this sort of uh, inner insular journey as well as the public expression of being sexual in this way. And I thought the sex scenes and the way they were played out, I had a lot of thematic intent and in not just reflecting who the character was and how he was thinking about this idea. Um, his um, expression of his sexuality in this sense, but how the uh, voiceover and the very poetic constructions of how he viewed these interactions sort of contributed to the overall themes of the piece. I thought um, visually it was um, very strong with a lot of the monochrome concepts having thematic um, overlaps. And in general, I thought it was just well acted and very um, naturalistic and artistic, which is why I enjoyed it. So I thought it was a, a good piece. This film is called Monochrome. This was such a sexy short, infused with gorgeous poetic text about yearning and passion. I love the phrasing, for example, a heat storm which floods hearts, that's for sure. The bedroom scenes are smoldering, as is the menage a trois near the end. 
the Grecian style wardrobe at the end really worked too. That scene was so stunning in the light. Overall, the camera work was so close and intimate, especially during the bloody bed scene. The title monochrome was perfect as various scenes used effective and thematic color choices in lighting. Great job.